Aaron here with Ultimate Consulting. Are you ready to be exceptional at your work? Are you ready to be a leader? Not sure how to get there? That's okay. This is for you. Welcome to another installment of our Leaders Are Readers series. Uh, today we're going to go over Starship Troopers by Robert Heinlein. Um, it was written back in 1957. If you like uh, science fiction, political science, and leadership, this is a fantastic book. Uh, it's about 263 pages, and so it won't take you that long to read through it. But um, today's section that I want to share over on our leadership side of things is basically they call it proportion would be work-life balance and understanding how that really impacts you or impacts them, particularly one character, the main character, Johnny Rico. And there he's in his tour between his cadet time at basically OCS, Officer Candidate School, and becoming a commissioned officer. So he's on a tour where they go out and they go work with the actual combat unit and they fall inside the chain of command but not actually have any command authority and um, perform actions and get evaluated by an acting uh, unit commander. So we're going to read the little, little section between uh, Johnny Rico and then his uh, captain, Captain Blackstone. And uh, the conversation they have about uh, prioritization, basically. Balance, we'll call it. Uh, we'll start on page 219, uh, towards the bottom. And I was, I'll start now. I was sitting in the card room about one o'clock one morning, plugging away at math. When Captain Blackstone came in, I said, good evening, Captain. Good morning, you mean. What the deuces ails you, son? Insomnia? Uh, not exactly. He picked up a stack of sheets, remarking, Can't your sergeant handle your paperwork? Oh, I see. Go to bed. But Captain, sit back down, Johnny. I've been meaning to talk to you. I never see you here in the card room evenings. I walk past your room. You're at your desk. When your bunkie goes to bed, you move out here. What's the trouble? Well, I just never seem to get caught up. Nobody ever does. How's the work going in the armory? Pretty well. I think we'll make it. I think so too. Look, son, we got to keep a sense of proportion. You have two prime duties. First is to see that your platoon's equipment is ready. You're doing that. You don't have to worry about your platoon itself. I told you that. The second, and just as important, you've got to be ready to fight. You're muffling that. I'll be ready, Captain. Nonsense. No other comments. You're getting no exercise and losing sleep. Is that how you train for a drop? When you lead a platoon, son, you've got to be on the bounce. From here on, you'll exercise from 1630 to 1800 each day. You'll be in your sack with lights out at 2300. And if you lie awake 15 minutes, two nights in a row, you'll report to the surgeon for treatment. Orders. Yes, sir. I felt the bulkheads closing in on me. And I desperately, Captain. I don't see how I can get to bed by 2300 and still get everything done. Then you won't. As I said, son, you must have some sense of proportion. Tell me how you spend your time. So I did. He nodded, just as I thought. He picked up my math homework, tossed it in front of me. Take this. Sure, you want to work on it, but why work so hard before we go into action? Well, I thought, think is what you didn't do. There are four possibilities and only one calls for finishing these assignments. First, you might buy a farm. Second, you might buy a small piece and be retired with an honorable commission, an honorary commission. Third, you might come through all right, but get a down check on your Form 31 from your examiner, namely me, which is just what you're aching for at the present time. Why, son, I won't even let you drop if you show up with eyes red from no sleep and muscles flabby from too much chair parade. The fourth possibility is that you take a grip on yourself, in which case I might let you take a swing at leading a platoon. So let's assume that you do put on the finest show since Achilles slew Hector, and I pass you. In that case only, you'll need to finish these math assignments. So do them on the trip back. That takes care of that. I'll tell the skipper. The rest of those jobs you are relieved of. Right now. On our way home, you can spend your time on math. If we get home. But you never get anywhere if you don't learn to keep first things first. Go to bed. So, 
in our current modern age of things being super busy all the time and having to do everything, everything all the time, it's important to keep proportionality. As Catherine Blackstone talks about, in their case, they're infantry. So having good rest because you need to recover, having good fitness because you're going to go into action. It's a physically demanding job. Um, those things are important. You can't have clarity of mind. You can't have a fit body. If you're not going to exercise, and you're not resting. And then on top of it with your work, you need to make sure that you have those in a proper order, which means that your team can handle certain day-to-day -day things. In his case, he's referring to the sergeant. The sergeant runs the platoon um, on day-to-day -day operations. Your staff should be running day-to-day -day operations for you. So you can focus on the higher order things for your team, for your business. That's your role. And if you find yourself drowning, then you need to relook really at your priorities and look at how you're stacking your day like the math homework, if it doesn't need to be done, it doesn't need to be done, okay? And certain things, because you're the owner, you're, you're the leader in charge, you can determine certain things, okay? If you bought off, bit off more than you can chew, then it's up to you to, to re, reset all those things and, and get it back in the order and alignment. So remember, take care of your team. They'll take care of you. And take care of yourself. It's important. Till next time.